Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 30th March 2023, the Ministry of Defense has inked rupees 1700 crore deal with Brahmos Aerospace for the next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries long range for Indian Navy. The new mobile coastal batteries are going to be equipped with supersonic Brahmos missile which will significantly enhance the multi-directional maritime strike capability of the Indian Navy. The delivery of NG MMCBs is scheduled to commence from the year 2027. Indian Navy will be deploying these new mobile coastal batteries at strategic locations across the maritime zone of India to neutralize threat from both eastern and western seaboard. The new next generation maritime mobile coastal batteries will be dual purpose that is can be used for land as well as the anti ship attack roles the anc command that is unmanned and nicobar command has already deployed from host coastal battery on the island on 29th november the anc that is unmanned nicobar command and western command has successfully test fired the extended range brahmos surface to surface missile Brahmos is the world's only supersonic missile which can be launched from air, water and land and also under the water making it a truly versatile platform. The missile is powered by a solid fuel rocket in stage 1 followed by ramjet engine in stage 2 which allows the missile to reach maximum speed of Mach 3 and above and having a range of 290 km. The ramjet engine allows the missile to sustain the supersonic speed throughout the flight. It can fly as low as 5 meters above the surface. Missile's range has been extended to 450 km just by software upgrade and is known as Brahmos ER or Brahmos Extended Range. Brahmos has been designed for pinpoint accuracy due to its primary role as an anti-ship missile which is critical for anti-ship mission. Ships are maneuverable targets hence less accuracy will either cause less or no significant damage to the warships brahmos has circular error probability of just 1 meter the brahmos has been quite a successful missile and has been integrated with all the frontline warships of indian navy drdo has also started working on the new missile with a range greater than that of brahmos for anti ship role as per the reports from the times now drdo has planned the test of a long range anti ship missile or lr asm The missile test is planned in early October from the Bay of Bengal. DRDO's new missile will have range over 500 kilometers. This is going to be the first trial of the new missile and might take seven years for induction. More details on this missile are not there in public domain. Interestingly, in September 2022. The Hindustan Times has also reported that DRDO has finalized the design for a 1500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship variant. DRDO is awaiting a green signal from Narendra Modi government to move to the development stage. The missile is being designed to deter any ship-based threat in Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. It will also counter any land-based threat from across the line of actual control in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. While India has an arsenal of nuclear cruise and ballistic missiles up to a range of 5000 km from land and up to 3500 km range from sea based deterrent, it does not have any conventional ballistic missile to tackle the adversaries on land or on high seas. So the new missile will not only deter any carrier based strike group from threatening india from indian ocean but will also provide land based protection to its own aircraft carriers in the bay of bengal and arabian sea through coastal deployment the new missile is most likely going to be a variant of agni prime agni prime as we all know is having some of the major enhancements over its predecessors such as fully upgraded composites new propulsion system innovative guidance and control mechanism and state of art navigation systems It is sleeker missile with weight one fifth and dimension almost half of Agni three missile, which makes it stealthier than its predecessors. Agni Prime can carry warhead between fifteen hundred to three thousand kilogram. Therefore, it's highly likely that new anti ship missile which DRDO is developing is going to be an offshoot version of Agni Prime, 
as it has all the technologies and capabilities of a carrier killer. Recently, a NOTAM has also been issued, originating from the Bay of Bengal at having range of 2000 km. The test is planned between 5th to 9th October 2023 and this test is most likely going to be for the Agni Prime missile. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.